I think keeping up, you know, making sure that you're knowledgeable of what's going on in the field, you know, reading articles, science articles, so that you're exposed to all the research that's going on in your particular area is very helpful. Um, then you can know what, you know, what everybody else is doing. Um, but also reaching out to people in the field is not, now not everybody would respond if you email them and say, hey, I have a question, I'm interested in, in this, uh, can you help me with this particular question? I mean, because people are very busy. And, but I mean, I think if it's worth a try, if, if that's a, a need, if, if somebody's feeling somewhat isolated, um, reaching out and just kind of to people in the field that they've um, seen or heard of through papers or through you know, videos or, or whatever, uh, I think that's not a bad thing to, to attempt to do. Uh, but it's an interesting, uh, diff it's different than what I'm used to because I'm, I'm very much used to that one-on-one -on -one interaction and walking down the hall to talk to somebody, ask questions. But, you know, again, I'm sort of old-fashioned. These days, you can do that online. You can, you know, use technology to get your questions answered. So I think that's important is to also, if you have questions or if you're, not, if you're working on a problem and you don't understand something, is to have these areas, even if it's uh, uh, virtual, where you can ask questions of your peers and, and, and get, um, you know, sort of interaction that way. I think that's a great idea.